vlog we are going to ferment a fish or what we call ginamos however um the fish available in the market is not i mean not that small or the typical fish that we are going to use when we are going to ferment or when we are going to prepare ginamos so instead of having bolinaw um i select another variety of fish um so that we can still um ferment it so I have here, um, I don't know what kind of fish is this, but this is uh, what I'm going to use or to utilize. So I only have four, so maybe this is enough um, for me. Right? So first, let's wash. We're done with uh, washing. We are going to debone or get the flesh of the fish here, this side and this side. So after slicing it, we are going to add um, enough salt for it to cover and then we are going to squeeze it. Alright, so um, we are done. Um, washing this our fish two times so we are go now going to add salt a lot of salt if you want it um very salty but this lot of salt also helps the fermentation uh, really goes well and of course i want my um, fermented fish um to have a um, seasonings so let's put some garlic minced garlic and of course our minced onion so you're going to incorporate it well yes and then um earlier i looked for a jar and this one i came with this so now we are going to fill the jar with our fish with salt Let's wait for two weeks, two to three weeks, or at least a month, so that we can enjoy our fermented fish. So this salt will create, or will turn into water, and that will help the fish to preserve. Thanks for watching.